this is a part 12 of polytechnic lecturer previous year question discussion video we are going to see some more questions in this video you'll be seeing the questions on board okay so the first question is a three phase transformer has dash it is as asking regarding the number of primary and secondary windings okay so the options are like this option a one primary and three secondary windings b three primary and one secondary windings c three primary and three secondary windings d3 primary and 6 secondary windings so you can now see the uh, diagram of three phase transformer on screen and clearly you can see that there is actually three sections there is three primary and three secondary windings okay so that is the number of windings for a three phase transformer it is having how many primary and how many secondary three primary and three secondary windings are there you can you can clearly see in the diagram that there is a uh, primary windings with capital letters that is a1 b1 c1 then there is small letters representing a1 b1 and c1 okay so uh, it is there is two sides are there a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 likewise okay anyway there is three primary and three secondary windings it is given in three colors also red yellow and blue okay so the correct answer for the first question is option c is the correct answer okay now moving on to the next question which is the second question so the second question is okay second question is asking regarding the connection of two inductors in parallel connection actually a lot of people has doubt regarding these combinations of resistors inductors and capacitors let us try to simplify that in this video okay so here two inductors are connected in parallel now when two inductors are connected in parallel the equivalent or the effective value lt is given by dash okay now consider that the two inductors are l1 and l2 now these are clearly connected in parallel connection so in this case lt or the effective inductance is given by l1 into l2 by l1 plus l2 okay so this is the case for a parallel combination this is parallel now for the case of series when two inductors are connected in series l1 and l2 then lt or the effective value will be l1 plus l2 now this is exactly same as that of connection in connection of resistors okay we'll draw it here resistors when resistors are connected in parallel, we'll start with parallel itself, okay. When they are connected in parallel, consider the resistors are R1 and R2, okay. So, R1 and R2 are the two resistors, right. Now, when two resistors R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, like this, R1 r2 now what will be the equivalent value rt is equal to r1 r2 that is r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 okay see the equations they are exactly the same only difference is that here it is inductance here it is resistance okay now you can connect these things and study now when they are connected in series that is the resistors are connected in series there is r1 there is r2 then for this case, the equivalent RT will be equal to R1 plus R2. So the inductors and resistors are actually following almost same relations when in series and, and in parallel. But for the case of capacitors, this will reverse. Let us see that. For a capacitor, when the capacitors are connected in parallel, let us see the parallel case first because we have already seen the parallel for these two components right so when capacitors are connected in parallel let the values are c1 and c2 they are connected in parallel for this case ct is equal to actually c1 plus c2 okay it will be the reverse here for series it is l1 plus l2 here also r1 plus r2 but here for parallel connection it is c1 plus c2 and when it is in series that is when the capacitors are in series c1 and c2 when they are in 
series combination then ct is equal to c1 into c2 by c1 plus c2 so you just have to remember that the resistors and inductors follow same relation whereas the capacitor follows a inverse relation when they are in series and parallel combination okay so this is the equations for resistor inductance and capacitors when two components are connected in series and parallel combination okay so for inductance it is l1 l2 by l1 plus l2 series combination it is l1 plus l2 same for the case of resistors rt for parallel case it is r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 for series case it is r1 plus r2 for the case of capacitors it is actually opposite or reverse the cases will reverse ct will be in parallel case c1 plus c2 and in series case it is c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 okay so please note this down it will be very useful okay so here the question is actually asking regarding only inductance and the correct answer now we have already seen it it will be option b option b is the correct answer okay now moving on to the next question which is the third question the third question is a charged capacitor will act like dash so when a capacitor is charged fully means it will be having a constant voltage across itself right it will be charged to full of its value so it will be acting as a temporary voltage source okay so a charged capacitor act like a dash that is a question a temporary voltage source b magnetic energy source c constant current source d switch so when capacitor is charged means it is actually filled with some voltage value to a full level but it is again a temporary voltage source when the capacitor is discharging the charge will get lost okay so when it is charged it will be producing an effect of a temporary voltage source correct answer is a this is actually a very simple question you just have to think then next question in a meter one male one main scale division is 5 volt it is divided into 10 small scale divisions the meter can measure a minimum voltage of dash so here it is saying that one main scale reading is 5 volt and it is divided into 10 parts 1 2 3 it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 okay so there is 10 parts okay i hope it is 10 anyway just assume that there is 10 parts okay now the 5 volt we are actually going to divide as 10 parts means 5 by 10 will be the minimum voltage it is measurable there is minimum measurable voltage right that is 0.5 volt okay very simple question actually so every part or every part is actually every unit is or every small division is measuring some voltage level right here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 divisions are there so here it will be actually measuring 5 by this total is 5 5 by 10 that is 0.5 volt okay correct answer is option b okay next question the opposition offered to the moment of electrons slash current flow is known as dash very basic question a electric resistance b current c voltage d none of this here the opposition to current flow is called electric resistance the flow of charge is called current now what is potential this the it is the work done to move a unit charge from one potential to another potential that is called voltage or potential difference okay anyway correct answer is electric resistance option a is the correct answer next question the most commonly used electrical conductor is dash a lead b tin c brass d copper so we have we is uh, we are all familiar with the copper wires which we use in the cables and wires right so inside these wires we have copper wires so correct answer is option d copper is the most commonly used electrical conducting material okay 
D. Copper. Next question. Silicon has an atomic number 40. This means that the atom has dash. Has 14 dash. A. Neutron. B. Electron. C. Proton and neutron combined together. D. Valence electron. So, atomic number is actually indicating the number of electrons. Mass number is indicating the number of protons and neutrons. Okay. So, here correct answer is atomic number is 14 means number of electrons is actually 14. Okay. Mass number is indicating the proton and neutron combination. Okay. Here the correct answer is option B. Next question. In amplifiers, transistors are used for dash. Transistors are used for amplification purpose. Okay. So, in amplifiers, transistor are, transistors are used for A. Enlarging small electronic signals. B. Switching purpose. C. Reducing electronic signals. D. Both purpose mentioned in 1 and 2. So, in amplifiers, generally, amplification has to be done, right? So, the electronic, that is enlarging of small electronic signals is done with the help of transistors, okay? So, transistors will act as the amplifying elements for enlarging of small electronic signals. Correct answer is option A. Next question. Next question is, small signal amplifiers are also known as dash. A. Large power amplifier, medium power, am power amplifier, low power amplifier, both medium and low power amplifier. So, the small signal amplifiers are also called as low power amplifiers. Okay. Correct answer is C. Next question. Next question is, a transistor can be thought of as two p-n junction diodes connected as the combination they are asking. A, p-n, p-n, B, p-n, n-p, C, n-p, n-p, D, n-n, p-p. Okay, we will see a small diagram. Consider that we are taking a transistor. This is a p-n, p transistor. Okay, so this is a p-n-p transistor. And there are two p-n junctions here, right? Now, what is the connection or the combination of these p-n junctions? There is a p-n here. And the next one is actually n-p, right? So, the combination is p-n, n-p. Not p-n, p-n or p-n, n-n or anything. It is first there is p-n, then there is n-p, okay? So, don't get confused with two p-n, p-n connected together. We are actually connecting 1 pn and the next one is np okay this forms a pnp transistor okay correct answer is option b is the correct answer which is pn np okay so these are the 10 questions which i have included in this video so these questions are a little bit uh, small or uh, small or simple questions but anyway you can expect these type of questions in your examination so we have already run 11 parts of polytechnic lecture of previous year question discussion video 11 videos are already uploaded uh, into the playlist okay so if you have not watched those videos yet please do watch the videos it will be very useful for you because the exam is on the next week okay so please do make use of those videos and also i would suggest you to watch the videos in formula revision playlist also because it is a quick revision of a lot of topics so uh, please do watch the videos on uh, the subject formula revisions because there is actually entire subject revision videos for analog communication, uh, then for digital electronics, etc. So, you will get a very uh, brief idea of everything in very quick time. Okay. So, that's all for this video. I'm really hoping that you found it useful. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.